So here I am again on my linking and backlinking page. And I just noticed that I named this page incorrectly. Backlinking should actually be one word. So if I go into here and just name it like this, no problem at all. It's been updated in all locations that mention this page. And it will tell you as much when you do this in your own world. But in this video, we're going to be talking about adding an alias. And an alias is really just another name for a page. So for example, let's say we wanted to link to our headings and horizontal rules page. Now this is quite long and kind of verbose. So I'm going to go to headings and horizontal rules. Okay. Now it is a link to this page. But what I want to do is I want to add an alias. And as I said, an alias is just another way of referring to the same page. So what you do is you add this bar in like so and you type in the alias. So I could call it H and H if I wanted to. Headings and horizontal rules. And you'll see that it still takes me to the headings and horizontal rules. All I've done here is I've told it this is what I want to show on the front, but actually this is where it links me to. This is also really powerful when paired with the block linking that we spoke about earlier. Because if we wanted to link to heading three in this document, for example, like we did previously, you could say something like, please see the third point in this document. And what we could do here is we could create a link to our headings and horizontal rules, like so. Then what we could do is create a carrot to take to heading three. And after heading three, we're going to add an alias by putting in the bar. And I'm just going to say third point, control C. And now what we have here is a link to heading three on this document. Please see the third point. Sure. And now I can see the third point in this document. So that's aliases on a very basic level. A little bit later when I cover metadata, I'm going to go into aliases in